When you're talking home security, specifically home security cameras, one of the latest trends has been dual lens cameras. And that applies both to the wired security camera side and the Wi-Fi security camera side. Today, we are talking about a dual lens camera from Eufy. So we're talking Wi-Fi cameras. Let's get started. What up, everybody? It's George Langebeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance, coming to you once again from Voltage Studio. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech, we talk home security, we have videos weekly. Follow me on the socials, specifically Instagram, where I give you a little more insight into the man behind Silver Hammer Surveillance, and we talk home security, and we talk the smart home world there as well. Today, we are talking about those two topics, my favorite topics, the smart home and home security. We're talking about a new dual lens camera from Eufy Security. That is a Wi-Fi camera. And what does dual lens means? It means it's got two lenses. One is a regular lens and one is a zoom lens. These became very popular with video doorbells that have two lenses, one for people, one for package. In fact, eufy has got two of them now, the Eufy Dual and their most recent video doorbell, which also has two lenses. Very cool. And they're becoming kind of a trend in the home security world. So today we're talking about the Solo Cam S340. That's Eufy's latest offering in this dual lens category. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about the specs, how it integrates into the Eufy app, and my general thoughts. So let's get started with the unboxing. Okay, now that we've unboxed, let's talk some specs. Before we do that, I do want to thank you, V, for sending me this camera. I appreciate it very much. But as usual, I'm going to give you my unbiased review. Moving on to the specs. This is $199.99. The affiliate link is in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Eufy says this has dual clarity at 50 feet, meaning that you can get license plates at 50 feet with their 3K resolution main lens and their 2K telephoto lens, which also gives you an eight times zoom. The main lens has 135 degree field of view. It is solar powered with a solar panel for ease of install. And also they're saying with two hours of sunlight, you can get a full day's charge. They're also saying the solar panel is enhanced for low light and also inclement weather. The camera has a 360 degree pan tilt, so you can go left and right, up and down, and it's 360 degrees. Local storage with no monthly fees. It's got eight gigs built into the camera. You can also use it with the S380 home base, but that is not required. I am testing it without the home base in this particular situation. Eufy is telling us five minutes installation. I 100% agree. I think I had it installed in three minutes. With that solar panel, you can pretty much put the sucker anywhere and it's very easy to install. It has AI powered tracking, meaning when it sees a person with that 360 pan tilt, it will follow that person. And I find that works very well. And again, I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. And it has 26 feet of night vision and you can do black and white or color. It does have a light to give you the colored night vision. It has two-way audio so you can hear the person, they can hear you, so you can scare away an intruder with your voice. It also has a built-in light and a siren in addition to your voice, if you want to scare somebody away. It is compatible with Lady A and the Google Assistant. Sadly, no Apple Home compatibility. You can do motion zones and you can also do four predetermined targets, meaning with that pan tilt, you can pick four areas in the shot that you can immediately go to one through four. Okay, those are the specs. Let's move on to how it integrates into the Eufy app. Okay, the Eufy app. If you don't have it already, you just go to the App Store and get it. 
you sign up for an account with Eufy and then you're good to go. Then you just hit the plus button in my devices and add your device. And the reason I didn't cover the installation and setting up is because it's so easy. It took me three minutes to put the camera up and add it to the Eufy app. The Eufy app literally walks you through it step by step. So all you have to do is hit that plus button. It takes care of the rest. Once you've done that, there you go. You'd have your list of devices at this particular moment. I only have this camera. But if you go to that screen that you're looking at for the camera, you see the play button. That's where you'd go to see the live image down there where it says zero. That's your events. So that's zero new events, but I do have events from previous days here. So at the top, you can see your calendar, you switch between your days, and then you can click on any of those events. Now, this first one is interesting because there I am recording the camera, but you can also see that the AI tracking is following me. So even though my camera is covering my face, it's still tracking me. This AI detection is awesome. All right, so that's your events. You can play any of those. You can see where it says what type of event. In this case, it's human. All right, then if you go back, if you go to your three dots, that's where you can snooze the camera, and then you can also go into your main settings. Here at the top, you can see at the top left, you can see that I've got a solar panel icon. I've got the power that it's charging and that I've connected to Wi-Fi. I can turn the camera on and off with that toggle there. If I had the home base connected, I am not testing with this with the home base, but there you would go. And if you added a home base to your system, you could add it right there. Motion detection. This is where your motion detection settings are. You can toggle it on or off. You can do your activity zones here. You can do human vehicle, all motion, and you can change the sensitivity, which is cool. And that AI tracking, you can turn it off if for some reason you want to. Motion test mode, it'll flash red when motion detected. So that's just telling you that it's in test mode. And then it's got some tips for installation. Power manager, it tells you how many days we've been working. Now I added and unadded this camera a few times just for testing. So right now it only says three days but I have been testing this camera longer than that. It has detected 606 events and recorded 18 events. You can change your battery life settings there, depending on your situation. With the solar panel, I'm going optimal surveillance and it's working just fine because that solar panel is doing its job. Then you got the solar dashboard. It'll tell you your percentage trend and it'll give you some stats about your solar panel. But again, the solar panel is working great. Power source, that's where you can make sure that you select that it's an external solar panel. Otherwise, your other option is just on battery. That's power manager. Preset positions, that's where you can set your four positions. So your preset, determine targets. And if I press those targets, it'll go straight to that option. Pan tilt settings, there you can do the AI tracking again. You can control the pan tilt speed and you can also calibrate the pan tilt there. Spotlight settings, you can turn that on or off and that spotlight can help you get that color night vision. Then if you go into video settings, you can turn off the timestamp and the logo, but you can still have the timestamp option, which I like, uh, or you can do no timestamp or logo. View mode, this is where you can turn off the dual lens. And so it'd be dual view where it's got both lenses or just a single view. And then that dual lens still kicks in when you're zooming, but you still see it just as one image. Streaming quality, you can change that between auto, 3K, medium, and low. That 3K HD is your full resolution. Recording quality, again, you can change the resolution. 3K HD, full 1080p, or smooth, which is 720. I don't know why the heck anybody would go to 720 in 2023, but hey, you have the option if you want it. Night vision, you can do black and white, you can do color, or you can turn it off. And then you can do a privacy zone, which lets you block the camera from seeing certain areas to preserve neighbor privacy. So if your camera happened to be covering a neighbor, you could do a privacy zone there. Audio settings, you can turn the microphone on or off, do audio recording. You got your speaker on and off there. Notifications, this is where you can do different notifications. You got most efficient, full effect, include the thumbnail. I would just went with most efficient right now, but I also really like that include the thumbnail. In fact, I'm going to switch it to that right now because that's the best way to go. You can change your different sounds for the motion alerts, and then you can switching notification. There you go. Switch modes by schedule, switch modes from the app. Then in general, you can change the name of the camera. You can turn the status light off and on. You got your Wi-Fi connection there, time settings for your time zone. 
and then you've got your storage option there right now we're on local storage i'm using that eight gigs built into the camera you've got a mounting guide and then it tells you about your device your serial number and such you can share your device with your family and such it gives you a little tutorial on how to use the camera and installation and then you can share your thoughts you can restart your device if you need to reboot it and you can remove the device if you click on the camera itself, if you go to live view, there you go. You've got your one times or three times zoom. So you can see it zooms in there and it maintains its clarity. That's the key with that telephoto lens. Most cameras, when you zoom in, get more pixelated. This one maintains its clarity. You can record a clip right there. You can turn the sound on and off. I've got the sound off. Otherwise we'd be getting feedback right now. If you press down the microphone, they'd be able to hear you. There's your pan tilt options. You can turn the camera. You can go up and down and so on and so forth. You can turn your light on and off. And then just a side note, you got to scroll over. You got a couple different options there. You can take a screenshot, which is just a still picture. You've got night vision control there. You can turn your AI tracking on and off. And if you hit that 360 round look, it does its full 360 pan tilt and kind of goes in a little pattern there. Where the pan tilt arrows are, if you hit that arrow button, there's your four preset targets and you can press them there as well. Okay, so that's how it integrates into the UV app. Let's talk my thoughts and pros and cons and such. Let's start with the positive. Let's talk pros. And there are a lot of pros to this camera. Ease of installation. It seriously took me three to four minutes. So awesome. And with that solar panel, again, you can put it anywhere. And I love that. The Eufy app is pretty straightforward and easy to use, as you just saw. I love the fact that Eufy has the local storage with no fees, saving you that monthly fee. We all hate those monthly fees. There are so many of them nowadays, but you get to skip it with Eufy. I found that the solar panel worked great. I had zero issues with power. I feel that that thing's pretty well made and it's nice and small. It's not a huge eyesore like a lot of solar panels are, so that's fantastic. That 360 pan tilt is great as far as getting you a lot of bang for your buck out of one camera. Now keep in mind, as great as that is, it's always great to have multiple cameras because with that 360, when you're leaving this camera alone, it's still just focused on one thing. So if something happens over here and the camera's looking over there, you could still miss it. So just keep that in mind, even though this has awesome coverage with that 360. I found that the AI tracking worked perfectly. When it saw a person, it followed them, including myself, and it was just flawless. There was no skipping. It really kind of just was a smooth sailing right along with the person. We got a lot of people that walk their dogs out here and it followed them great. I thought the resolution looked great on both cameras, 3K on the main lens, 2K on the telephoto lens. Now the zoom was beautiful. Like I could zoom in on details on somebody right outside. I did not have the ability to see a license plate at 50 feet, but that's not the fault of the camera. I just don't have a good angle to do that here. So no fault of Eufy, I just couldn't test that particular feature. But what I could see on the zoom looked fantastic. So I really like that and the resolution looked great. I found that the microphone works great. I could even hear the dog walkers out there talking on their phones. I could hear general sounds outside you know, city sounds, all of that. Now, some of that's just white noise that you want to get rid of. But when it comes to these microphones, you can't do anything about that. Again, it's not the camera's fault. But I really heard fine-tuned sounds like the people talking on their phones and I, I could hear them like they were right next to me. So the microphone was fantastic. I found that the Eufy alerts, you know, when you get notified for a person being outside, I found that they were instantaneous. Keep in mind, I do have gigabit internet here, a really good internet connection on that camera, but I found that they were pretty much immediate and no delay. Okay, those were the pros and they were some great pros. Let's talk about the couple of cons. Now, I just talked about the microphone being a pro. The speaker is not as far as the person outside hearing me. I found it to be a little choppy. And also you're not going to hear it at great distances. So scaring somebody across your yard, that's not going to happen. Somebody right up on the camera, maybe, but hopefully you don't experience the same choppy thing that I did. Now, when you do install this camera, just keep in mind, you want to get the latest firmware update right away and maybe some of that will be fixed. 
Now this isn't necessarily a con, but the two lenses does take some getting used to. It's just a little bit of a learning curve and that's not a big deal. You're going to figure it out very quickly. And if you've got any of Yuffie's doorbells that had two lenses, you're going to be used to it right away. So again, not necessarily a con, just a little bit of an adjustment. Now, the biggest con for me is no Apple Home compatibility. Yuffie was just so on board with Apple Home at first, and I think some of it has to do with the Apple Home requirements. So maybe it's not all Yuffie's fault, but I really wish this camera was an Apple Home. So I got to consider whether or not I want to keep it just because it's not going to fit in with everything else I have here. But it is great with Lady A and Google Assistant, but not Apple. We the night vision, I would say on paper, that is a con. Now, me in particular, I didn't have much of a problem because I live in an apartment building. We got a lot of light coming off of this building. Now we do have a very dark area back there where there's a river, um, but I'm not really checking things out that far. So it really didn't bother me that I couldn't see that far. But if you had a big yard or if you have a really dark backyard, this might be a problem for you. But here it worked just great, both in black and white and color. But on paper, that night vision is just not the greatest. You know, a lot of uh, Wi-Fi cameras start at about 30 feet. Yuffie's a little bit under that. So, eh. But it really didn't bother me any. So it's a con on paper, but not a con with me. Okay, so that's it. Those are my pros and cons. That is my review. You can see that my pro list was much longer than my con list. My con list was pretty nitpicky. I do have a problem with it not being Apple Home. That's the only reason I might not keep that camera here. But for you out there that like Lady A and Google Assistant or don't care about the smart home integration, this is a fantastic camera. You get a lot of bang for your buck out of those two lenses and that 360 pan tilt. And the Eufy app is loaded with features all on its own. So if you're in the Eufy ecosystem, man, go for this camera. And that solar panel, not only great for the power options, but you can pretty much put this sucker anywhere and it makes it so easy to install. What do you think? Have you tried a dual lens camera? Did you have any of Eufy's cameras or do you currently like the Eufy Dual or their newer doorbell? I had the Eufy Dual for a long time and I'd say it's still probably my favorite video doorbell except for the lack of Apple Home compatibility. Eufy was so good about that for a while and then they dropped off. If it wasn't for that, I would have that Eufy Dual out here still today, but I don't because of the lack of Apple Home compatibility. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Again, these dual lens cameras, are you used to them? Um, I think they're kind of a thing of the future. I think that's going to happen a lot more and Eufy's at the forefront of it and they were starting with the Eufy Dual. So good job, Eufy, there. So like this video, subscribe to the channel. You know I love you. For returning subscribers, man, you're the best. For anybody new here, welcome to the party. I so much appreciate you being here. As I say, every video, man, it means the world to me that you would watch our content. I hope you find it useful and helpful, and we love having you all here, and I appreciate all your support. So until the next video, peace and love.